shop of the new year it was expensive we got some good deals in there but uh, we did have to stock up on some expensive items and we got some luxuries like bacon and cheese how crazy is that to say that's the world we live in now uh, starting off over here we paid eight dollars for a two liter vegetable oil I am almost completely out of oil we have been flooded in we've got smashed by storms we had a branch come down on the house I hit a branch in the car the car is okay but it has been a bit hectic <laughs> to say the least so um, we've needed vegetable oil I need to stock up on some and keep it in the stockpile I used to I've gotten out of the habit which is not great because we can be cut off for several days at a time here all right, we have uh, cornflakes to 210. That's what the kids wanted for their breakfasts. I got the standard Coles Wheat Bix, which is the main thing that I give them in summer for their breakfast because it is cheap, quick, and easy. We got a fresh milk. We have some UHT milk, but again, we keep that for um, cooking and also for when we can't go and fr get fresh milk. So I grabbed that for 4 50 We paid $3.30 for these ice blocks. We keep ice blocks on hand. If you've been around a while you know why ten dollars fifty for a kilo of cheese isn't that crazy uh four dollars ninety for the eggs i got my kid to pick them so hopefully they are good we have the regular spread uh, one kilo which was three fifty four dollars fifty a kilo for the chicken so i got a almost three kilo one for twelve dollars twenty that will be a meal plus some chicken stock I'll come back to the butcher because that's a different shop. Um, we got a greens chocolate brownie mix the hub, hubby got for him and the kids to make as a treat. I don't know how much that is. I'll check. We got a quick sale um, mini croissants pack for the kids. It was for 50 marked down to $2.92. Uh, hubby says this was two eighty. dollars nine dollars for the nutalex i usually get the butter flex at aldi which is five dollars for a kilo but we went at aldi um so this is what we get at um coles it is nine dollars for a kilo we get two different butters or butter substitutes because one is for the kids and hubby to eat and contaminate with their gluten and one is for me one of these will last me quite a while and we also use this for cooking if I'm going to be able to eat something. This is also lactose free. Hubby is lactose intolerant, although he still eats cheese and milk. If you know, you know. But where I can, I do make some substitutes, especially if we're going to have a lot of milk or a lot of dairy products. I try and make some substitutes so that it's not too bad. And I also have a kid that gets a little funny in the tummy with too much dairy. So again, we do like dairy light-ish on some things. Um, that is it for Coles, which was around the $90 mark. I'll pop it up on the screen. Um, the fruit shop, we got two kilos of nectarines. They were $1.99 a kilo. We got uh, a handful of bananas for the baby, which we're going to have to hide, which is $1.99. We got a bucket of mangoes three mangoes have already disappeared from this since we got home for 6.99 so that was how much that was um and then we're over to the meat we have minced chicken frames here for the cat we thought this would be one a little treat for him and two much cheaper and probably healthier for him than the canned food we've been buying this was 1.6 kilos for three dollars 33 so pretty good and we'll be able to freeze this into portions for him. He's also getting his snip tomorrow, so he's not eating tonight. So this will be nice for him to have tomorrow when he wakes up and when he's recovered. Oh, I nearly forgot. The Mascal chicken stock cubes were on a special for 88 cents, which is when I buy them. So I bought 10, so that's $8 worth of chicken stock cubes. Why do you need so much chicken stock cubes? We use them on everything. I haven't had them in the house for like a month and it's been driving me crazy. I do make my own chicken stock, but it's a long process and it is handy to have these on hand for seasoning and other things. Uh, over here, I checked the clearance section and they had a side of veal for $20, marked down from 
27.85. So we're going to get a few meals out of this. I'm hopeful there's some good bones in here. I'm hopeful I can salvage some of those bones and I can boil them for a bone broth for like a far and just to have bone broth on hand because we're gonna get sick with the change of the seasons, we always do. We've got like a little roast here and we've got some like little chops. I got $20 for 4.6 kilos, which works out to be like $4-ish a kilo roughly, almost a little bit under that, a little bit more than that. So I think that's gonna be really, really well, go really well. We're doing a curried sausages tonight. I'm doing a $10 meal for you guys, which you'll see on Instagram or TikTok or YouTube shorts when I post it. At the same time, I think I'm gonna go through and get all of, carve all this up, get all the weird little bits and the bits that, you know, are good for a curry and make a beef curry. So I'll have a beef curry and a curried sausages because we similar ingredients. I'll make them both at the same time, make my life easier before I go door dashing. All right, so we are going to make two uh, pasta bakes. We're gonna do a pi pasta bake and a rice bake because I've had a gluten-free pasta. We're gonna use macaroni for the kids and hubbies. We're gonna do a salami pasta bake. We are going to do the same, but we're gonna do uh, rice and I'm not gonna boil the rice first. I'm just gonna cook it all together in the oven. We've got tons of tomatoes. We're gonna to use tomatoes, uh, yellow capsicum, red capsicum. It's got a couple of bits I need to cut off. A zucchini and my golden zucchini that I grew. Some onion, some cheese, We've got some shredded ham, salt, pepper, some um, chicken stock at the back there. I can make some or I could just use that. And I've got some hot salami ends. So we're gonna do probably one or two per bowl. You could also add chicken if you had it, but I think this is gonna be great. All right, so we got half a grilled zucchini in each, half of each zucchini in each. Um, half of the red, yellow capsicum, I haven't done the red yet, and one and a half tomatoes in each of those. I gotta do salt, pepper, um, and the chicken stock at the end. I'm also gonna add my meat and cheese in that in a second, but I thought I'd show you how much it is already just with the veggies and the rice. I threw in my two cups of chicken stock because one cup of rice, two cups of chicken stock, I've thrown on uh, one salami end per bowl. I've thrown on a handful of shredded ham on each one and a handful of cheese. I'm gonna cook it like this. I might add some jalapenos to mine. Um, I've left the pasta on this one. I'm just gonna boil that on the stove. And then I think that that'll make a pretty good sauce as is if it needs more, if I wanna add some milk or cream to it to make it creamy maybe for the kids or hubby to tone down the tomatoiness. I might do that at the end, but I'm gonna get these in the oven now to melt, cook the rice, and brown the, um, the... While I'm making dinner, I've got pizza scrolls for lunch boxes happening. So I've got five there, and I've got, I don't know, 12 or so there. I've got some, that's uh, baked on pasta I'm trying to get off. I got some water boiling over here with some salt, and I'm going to do some potato bake. Sorry, potato salad. Um, so about to chop up the potatoes for that. And over here, I used the leftover pasta to make a quick pasta salad. This is the way my kids like it. So I'm doing their lunch boxes at the moment. So they'll have pasta salad, pizza rolls, fruit, and things like crackers and popcorn and pretzels, those kinds of things for lunch. There's one salami pasta bake. I usually do it with like a marinara sauce, but today I've just poured in a little bit of cream at the end there and stirred it up and the pasta. And that should be less tomato-y for hubby. I don't know if it's gonna taste good, but we will find out. And there's the rice bake. I'm gonna stir it all up and I'm gonna eat it. And it's gonna be delicious. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget if you like this kind of content to like, comment, subscribe, and I will catch you guys in the next one.